The Aaron here. Welcome back to the Anime Review. Today we look at the final episode of Code Realize, episode 12, which wraps up the whole series and everything. I'm not a fangirl. I'm a guy. But I'll say right now, that does not mean that I'm immune to cute things. Cute things are great. I love cute things. Cute puppies, cute kitties, cute plushies. Basically anything that's cute, I love it. That's especially true for scenes like that. Oh my god. I love that they got married. I, I didn't expect that, because like, I, I know that they ended up a relationship with one another, I figured that was going to happen a mile away, I thought, oh, maybe it'd be kind of something kind of corny with, maybe they'll be like, thieves together or something like that, now they actually legit got married, Lupin and Cardi got married, you don't know how happy I was to see that scene, I, I, well, at least you'll probably know if you follow me on Twitter, because I posted like two pictures of it, because legit, I was so happy. I, it was such a nice, touching scene. This whole episode was great, actually. I, I thought it was just a little bit, I want to say at one point, a little goofy, just at one point. But everything else worked perfectly well. So we learned, actually, about um, more so Cardi's father's backstory and how rough it is for him and, and just in the situation that they were in, where uh, the village he was in was slowly dying of starvation because the, the food, I guess, was drying up and it wasn't really edible, so he was trying to use sciences to figure out a way to cure cure everyone there by making food the problem was is that his research took too long and people started flipping out you know everyone started riding and before he knew it they burned his whole house down and probably killed off his family so with his magics obviously he was able to you know recreate cardia and also i think finis maybe finis actually might be well no finis most likely is also a, a clone too because uh, i forgot they showed that last week's episode so i i take that back but you know he was he was able to recreate uh Cardi and Finnis using the uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that weird system um, but he needed I guess their energy to make a you know the code realize essentially the, the thing that would change mankind and change the world in general uh, but the thing is, is that you know this wasn't his, the, her father the, her father is now gone essentially his spirit might be within that thing but it, it's been so corrupt because of the sadness that he faced that you know Lupin had to destroy it no matter what now, what I felt was kind of goofy was that one scene where, you know, he put the bomb sometime on there, and then the tentacles went slowly for it. That explosion was, like, so weak and, and just so minute. I was like, mm, that's a little goofy the way they did it. But everything else was really cool. I, I love how he stole Cardia back. You know, he even said, he goes, I told you I'd steal you back. And they were they were to escape together at one point. He actually fell. She, You know, he couldn't run anymore. She ran back to him. You know, he put, a, he put his hand on her, even though it was, like, melting right before his eyes. And then it stopped. Because the, I want to say her, her little gem within her basically shattered. It stopped giving out energy. Um, but in turn, it's, it destroyed the poison within her. But yet she's still alive. So that's very interesting. Uh, and then they finally got married. I was like, oh, they, admit, they admitted their love for each other. They kissed each other. Oh, that was, such, that was such a nice thing. I loved it. It legit was such a great ending. It makes me want to play the game, to be honest with you, just because I want to see that, that path. I want to see. I kind of want to see everyone's path because I want to see how Loop. Uh, not Lu even beside Loop, but I want to see how Finnis or not Finnis. Um, I can't. I don't know why I keep saying it. Vaughn and Impy. I want to see their routes because I heard that their routes are pretty good too in the in the game. And uh, you know, a lot of people have told me if you do play the game, go those routes too if you can. But I, I think it was adorable, and I'm glad they went the, the quote unquote true route of this. I think it was a good way of uh, wrapping the series up. Now, you know, this is a reverse harem. Yes, Code Realize is a reverse harem through and through. I mean, it's a Tome game, so it makes sense. That it's a reverse harem. And this is geared not really for us guys, it's, ge it's geared for more women, because that's the type of genre that is more for them. But the thing is, is I'll say this right now, this was a fantastic show. It, it really was a good show, you know, even if you are a guy, even if you're a straight guy, whatever, it it's one of the shows you can enjoy. I, I, loved, I loved the animation, I thought the animation was gorgeous. I love the action scenes where they were there. They weren't like nonstop, obviously, because this is not again not an action show. But they did have a lot of action in when certain things were happening. Vaughn kicked ass like throughout the whole series. Vaughn was really badass. I, I, his character was awesome too. And if he would have ended with Cardi, I'd be okay with it. But you know, I figured Lupin would be there. But everything about it, the characters, the story, the animation, the music, and I was very surprised that they actually ran this whole week's episode. No opening, no closing. It was legit. The whole episode was do it was devoted to just the animation. I was like, "Holy crap! You you skipped the opening and closing for that. That's pretty cool. I mean, that's very rarely do does the show make the last episode a 23 minute episode like legit all the way through with only one point where they they took like five seconds to show the title screen, but that's it. I'm like, wow, that's actually really really impressive. That's why if I had to review Code Realize, and obviously as you know from from because I'm doing the the final review. I would have to give it a B plus, maybe. You know, you know what? Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll stick with a B plus. I know some people might be like, "That's really high." 
and I know if Mal, it's, no one's going to agree with me on that, because Mal, I think, is like, run out six points something. I'm like, come on. Code Realize was a great story. I, I love this steampunk. I love steampunk. Steampunk is really cool to me. I love the steampunk. I love how they took some of these characters from, from real history slash, you know, mythology. They fused them together. And, and by the way, when I say mythology, I mean like legends more than else, but it's still technically myths. Like, you know, Arsene Lupin is supposedly a real thief, yes, but like, did he really do all the things he did? And you're, that's, that's questionable too. Um, I think what, uh, for example, Frankenstein, that doesn't exist at all, but it's still here. You know, I love when they do stuff like that. I think it's really cool to see that, and I love the way the show played out. I love the animation, like I said before, the, the music was great, the characters, voice acting, everything was phenomenal. That's why, honestly, like, it's a really good show, and I was, I'm, like, baffled that people are not giving it higher ratings, and I'm like, what did this show, do, this show do so bad? I almost feel like it's the people that, that are giving it poor ratings are the people that just don't understand reverse harems at all. And listen, like I said before, reverse harems aren't my, like, favorite thing in the world. I know I get a lot of flack for watching them, but think about it, folks. It, it's not that they're all bad. I mean, like, Kiss Him, Not Me was great, and that was just, you know, that was just the anime version. I mean, the ending is a little bit iffy on me, but that was great. Dance with Devils was great, too. Listen, guys, you don't have to be, you know, a certain way to enjoy something like this. It's like, you know, listen, you can be straight and enjoy shows like this, too. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't know why it's like people right away think that there's something baffling about someone watching that that's, you know, something geared for girls. It's like, who cares? If it's a show that's a good show, then just let it be a good show, you know? But what do you guys think of the comments below? Let me know. I would love to hear from you, Al. I have, um, I think I have, wait, uh, Ancient Magus Pride later today. I also have... Uh, Welcome Bowers done. I have a few other shows I know I have today, so I'll have those shows out today. I also have the 12 Days of Anime Day 10, I believe, coming out today also. So I'll hopefully see you there. Everyone, God bless you all. Have a great day. Until I pass across again in the next review, I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.